Good morning and welcome to another episode of Bushcraft Dave. I'm out in the Yorkshire Dales on day one of a three day hiking session with my good friend Alexi, who you've seen in other videos in the past. Um, the three day hike we're going to take on the three peaks uh, in the Yorkshire Dales, Pennygent, Ingleborough and Wernside. Today you're going to be watching us take on Pennygent. We've just left behind us a little village of Helwith Bridge, um, which looks like it's got a pub in it, which is quite exciting for when we finish this thing. It's going to take us about four and a half hours. Um, I think it's about nine and a half miles. And it's got 1,500 feet of ascent and descent. So I think this will be pretty much on a par with doing something like Kinder Scout in the Peak District in terms of difficulty. I've got a lovely lunch packed to have with us. Um, this is from the Collins Rambler's Guide to the Yorkshire Dales, walk number 25 I think. So there was two routes that I could map that would take us up to the peak of Pennygent. I've taken the shorter one but that might mean it's more steep. We'll find out. Well, as we're walking, we're learning. So in the distance, you can see, or hopefully you can see the quarry, which is a quarry of Horton Blue Slate, which dates from the Silurian age, which according to my geographer friend, makes it very old. Very is, old. is that the official <laughs> pre-dinosaur? Yeah, pre-Jurassic Cretaceous, just after the Ordovician. And uh, could, would you mind explaining what's going on with this on the ground, please? Yeah, so we just read from the guide that you, you pass it underfoot as you come up this first section of the walk. And this is the blue slate that's been used. And uh, Dave said, yeah, you can see how it would easily break into roof tiles because it's you can see how it fractures as a, as a flat surface. And I said, yeah, that's the cleavage. Rocks all have a natural cleavage along which they break, some into cubes, some into flat sections. Some, it some it's random, it just shatters like glass, but that's what it's called, Dave. So, when I'm complimenting somebody on a fine cleavage, <laughs> I, want it, I want it noted for the record that I'm only ever talking about the way that things break off into sheets, cubes, etc. We're walking and we're learning. <laughs> It looks like where that wall is, it's yeah. just running up the middle of it. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think the phone and everything will be going away for that climb up. Churn, milk churn hole. I don't fancy churning any milk in there though. Another good example of clue with two how those blocks have broken up at near enough 90 degree angle. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's natural and you can see them breaking in big chunks off the rock as well. Natural cleavage. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bushcraft Dave. <laughs> as if as if I'd have seen that, as if like I've like I've mounted Everest. <laughs> Right, our lunch consists of upside down protein bagels, some salami, some cheddar cheese, and as much mustard and mayo as you can swing a dog at. Made it. How did you find that, Alexi? Good fun. Good fun. I like the scram. Oh, it was hard. I'm not built for climbing. As you scrambling up the side, like off, off the thing, like a lunatic. <laughs> but we did it though, Penny Ghent. Tick. We just still got about another, probably well, still about another two and a half hours descent to get back. Yeah, I'm gonna get this, put this together and see what it's like. Ingleborough in the distance. Wernside is the plateau. Where's my finger? Just there. We've come down off the top, but on the map, there's two different routes that you can take. One was a solid line, one was a dotted line, which I think in the book was saying that the dotted line can often be prone to flooding and bo bogs and stuff like that. So we've went with what was the solid line on the map, which is this really boggy path. Um, and the other path, I mean, this book that I've got, it's got to be like from 20 years ago, something like that. And what was the dotted line path is now this beautifully tarmacked, graveled path that everybody goes down. And like fools, I followed the map and we're going this way. And we've now got things like, look at this, bog in front of us. I don't even know where to step to avoid that one. Got quite your stride, mate. That's all right. Step on the grass, we're all right. Oh, about another four and a half miles to go. I don't know how close we can get to whole pot. I can't even remember what it said about it. Was it like a hundred, hundred meters across, mm. twenty meters wide, twenty meters down, or something? It's a massive hole. That's impressive, isn't it, that? Yeah. Maybe hey, that's where the water pulls back out again. Yeah, maybe, yeah. And carves it out and stuff falls uh, in and it carves out again. And then runs through to wherever it said that the water comes out the other end. Yeah, about it. towards the vibe. But it's uh, still got Penny Gent there in the, behind us. And even though we've been walking now for around about 40 minutes down from the top of there, we're still at about one and a half thousand feet above sea level, so we're still still high and still got more to come down. Yeah. This looks like it. Wow. Oh wow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my god, it keeps going. Oh my goodness. I mean it's it's such a steep edge there, you really don't want to get any closer. Wow. Looks like a beach down there, doesn't it? Oh, 
I remember from what I was reading that uh, in extreme floods and extreme wet conditions, this fills up to overflowing. We fill up right to the top and that's what is there 22 meters deep 22 meters wide that is a hell of a lot of water i mean that's fair gushing out of there but it's not it's not really filling anything is it that's cool well i'm glad we've managed to get down to it this is hull pot that is almost like a little um okay oh, there yeah Cheers. God, there's so many. <laughs> Keep going. Follow the follow the hook. Look at the dog. See the dog in the in the quad. Where have they all come from? Just from the field. This is this is why they were coming down. Don't go. made it Helwith Bridge at the Helwith Bridge pub oh well I hadn't had any breakfast this morning I was too busy packing everything away we had a good lunch up there that fueled us really nice that the salami and uh, cheddar cheese bagel with mustard and mayo that really nice um, two of them each Nice, that's definitely going to fuel us. Um, so yeah, we're here at Helwith Bridge. At Helwith Bridge. Um, one walk done, walk 25 out of the Rambler's Guide to the Yorkshire Dales. Um, Penny Ghent from Helwith Bridge. Oh, it's been hard. My legs are very tired now. And this is day one of three. I mean, there were people up there, you know, Oh, do all three. Yeah, it's fine. No problem. No bother. Well, one was hard. So, to do all three would be uh, a big challenge in one day. Maybe something i try at some point, but at the minute I am not fit enough and I'm not in any way like hill walking and, and climbing peaks fit. Not at all. So I'm quite daunted by Ingleborough still to come, which is supposed to be quite a challenging and and Wernside which is supposed to be a bit better but still it's going to be another big climb so we've got them to come in the next two days so that's it from this walk we're sorted we're going to leave here shortly and we're going to set up our camp for the night which you will see as a separate video so decided that I would have the the walks as their own little videos and then at the end of it all you're going to see the just sort of the camp and the camp cooking. I've, I've certainly got a an interesting dish that I'm going to try and cook on a new piece of equipment. He's got some drinks. He's done well. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in the next one.